Hey, what's happening everybody? We've got something new here to take a look at and have a little play with today. Let's open it up here. Alright, as you can see here, this is the Wemos D1, which is an Arduino compatible board with the built-in ESP8266. Now this board was provided to us generously by our friends at Banggood. You can uh, check out the link down below to get one of these for yourself. And we'll take a look at the web page for this as well. But I thought for now we take a look over the board and see some of its finer points. So first of all, you're going to notice there is no Atmel chip on the board. The uh, ESP8266 is the heart of the board acting not only as the Wi-Fi chip but also as the main processor. Other ICs on the board include the CH340 which is our UART to USB and whatever this little guy is here Yeah, maybe you guys can read it. I certainly can't. No, we'll take a look at it later. So, as we look upon this board again, you see, for our interface, it has a micro USB. Then we have our CH340 chip here. We've got a reset switch. We've got our barrel jack for DC input. And we've got a selection of pin headers here. Uh, let's see, we've got RX, TX. We've got our I squared C, D3, D4, D5, D6, D7, SS, Mozzie, MISO, serial clock, another I squared. See, this is a, a copy, you see D1, D2 is the same as D1, D2 here. Over on the other side, again, we have SCL, SDA, A8. Uh, this board only has the one analog input. We have VN, ground, 5 volt, 3.3, reset, IO ref. And then we have some extra pin headers here for 3.3 volts, RX, TX, and ground. Now, if we hold this up against an Uno, which I'm looking for one, I know I've got one around here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Zoom out here. So there's our Uno, and there's our Wemos D1, and you can see they are essentially the same form factor. Now there is a little bit of installation involved in this, not too much. Let's go and take a look at how that works. Okay, to install the Wemos D1 in your uh, Arduino IDE, you need to go to File, Preferences, and down here in the additional boards manager, you need to type in, copy, or paste, whatever, this line here. And I will, uh, of course, have that link down below so that you can click on it. It's just arduino.esp8266.com slash stable slash package underscore esp8266.com underscore index JSON. And once that's done, we come over to our board manager.
This will take a second. And you just need to find this one here, ESP8266 by ESP8266 Community. Click on More Info, and we're going to install the latest version, which in this case is version 2.3.0. Okay, here's the link to uh, the Banggood's page for the Wemos D1. This is the R2 Wi-Fi ESP8266 development board compatible with Arduino Uno. And if we look here at the price, in U.S. dollars it is uh, $7.15. If you're from the U.K., it's £5.64. And if you're from down under, 986. So it's um, a little bit more expensive than an Uno, but you're getting the best of both worlds. And of course, you have free shipping to the United States. So that's pretty nice right there. All right, we're looking at uh, the Wemos webpage here for the D1, just so that we can get some specs here. And you can see it has 11 digital input and output pins. And all pins have interrupt, PWM, I squared C, and one wire support, except for digital zero. We have one analog input that is limited to 3.2 volt the micro USB connection, the power jack, good for 9 to 24 volts. If we come down here, we can see our operating voltage is 3.3 volts. So you can use this with uh, a lot of these sensors that are 3.3 volt only, and you won't need to use a uh, level shifter. Our clock speed is 80 or 160 megahertz, 4 megs of flash, and then just some size specifications. Okay, so we've plugged our board in. The next thing we need to do is come over to Tools, Board, and scroll down here till we find Wemos D1 R2 and mini we click that and in my case it's on com 18 it might be in something different for you And we can load an example. So our example in this case, we'll go to the ESP8266 and we'll choose Blink. Know why this is operating so slowly. So there we have our code. As you can see, it is exactly the same as your standard Arduino code. And let's send it and see what we get. It is updating now, uploading 36%, 72%, 100%. Done uploading.
And there we have it. A blinky blinky. So, I hope this has been a good introduction to the Wemos D1 ESP8266 board. And I'd like to thank our friends at Banggood for graciously providing this board for us to check out. If you like this, please give me a big thumbs up. Feel free to like, comment, and share. And I will see you next time.